Does your dog react like this every time it sees another dog? Maybe you'd rather them react like this when they see another dog. Well, that is exactly what I achieved with this dog in one day, and I'm gonna show you how I did it so that you can do the same thing yourself at home. Right now, there are countless dog trainers that are saying that these kinds of behaviors can be addressed and fixed with only positive methods. Now, if that was the case, this wouldn't be the single biggest problem there is in the world. There would be no reactive dogs. However, I speak to clients every single day that have spent thousands and thousands of pounds and dollars going to those kind of trainers and not only seeing no progress, but it actually making the problem worse. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of an experiment, a little bit of a test, a demonstration for you and to make sure that I'm always staying open-minded. And we're gonna bring a dog into the equation. It'll be sat just by the cameraman and I'm gonna come into the room and we'll observe the reactivity. And we're gonna try and address it with a positive only system of training. Use her favorite treats that the owner sent with her. I'm gonna come into the room and if and when any kind of reactivity or aggression happens towards my role model dog, I'm going to try and redirect, I'm going to try and distract, I'm going to try and lure her attention back to me with her favorite treats. If she does so, I'm gonna reward and we're gonna practice that principle and see whether that can fix reactivity in a real world live scenario. Edna. 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 Good. Yeah, good. Edna. 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 So at most, I'm bribing her away, and as soon as she gets what she wants from me, straight back to doing the undesirable behavior. And what I think is actually happening here, I'm not distracting her, I'm not teaching her a better behavior, I'm rewarding this one. Because what's happening is she's displaying this behavior, so she is interested in treats. Look, so now she's going back to my role model dog. When I'm distracting her, Edna, this isn't a win for me. I've now just rewarded what she's been doing. So what I'm gonna do is show you exactly how it should be done instead. So this is Will from the mystery world behind that door. Just so you don't think we're faking this, you can see I've moved on to a better piece of equipment for my mate here. And I'm gonna show you that there actually is a dog behind the cameraman and this isn't some kind of fakery witchcraft. So let's do it. You ready, Edna? Good girl. Opening the door, dog is there. Little bit of pressure, I'll put my phone away so you can see that there is a dog there. Good girl, Edna, good. I focus on being nice and calm. Good, yeah, good girl. And look at that world of difference. Moving on to the right piece of equipment, challenging her once or twice so she understand what that means. And now we can get close. Good boy, Sully, stay. Good girl, let's go. Good girl. Good girl, yeah, good girl. And now she gets rewarded. I'm not rewarding her and praising her when she's barking at something she shouldn't be, because like we discussed, that's actually making that behavior worse because we're, re we're rewarding the behavior we don't want to see. I've come in, I've changed our relationship, I've used the right piece of equipment for her. When she made a bad decision, I challenged it. Minor, a bit of challenging, just drew some fresh lines, let her know, no, nope, we don't do that, mate. This is what I need you to do. And when you do this, good girl, you can get praise. Good girl, good, good girl. And we reward it with food. Now this is a beautiful experience. Calm, relaxed. If we rewind 60 seconds ago to what it was like when we were trying to follow a different methodology, completely different experience. Again, she's clocked my dog there. I'm gonna let her go out a little bit in front of me we'll see what happens. Better decision. I'm happy with that. That's much better than it was. I'm always looking to improve though. And what I would like is engagement on me. So again, Edna. Come on. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. 
So I challenged her ignoring me. When she got to me, I rewarded and praised. Now she actually isn't an aggressive dog. What she is, is a nervous one. So the reason that she was getting a bit nervous then was because I let her go out in front of me. Now if we watch this tiny difference, when we come to a stop this time, I claim this space. Calm, assertive energy. Instead of her being nervous now, she'll be calm and relaxed. Because I've taken ownership of this situation, which is actually all that she wants. She sits down. Yeah, and you can look at the windows, you can be a German Shepherd, but you're going to be an amazing German Shepherd that's now going to be a credit to your family. Happy, relaxed, perfect canine companions.